good day and welcome to another session of the Family Equipping Ministry. We pray that you and your family are doing well physically and spiritually. We pray that you are beginning to get a grasp of the truths that we had been studying over the past few sessions. We pray that it is clear to you that in this dispensation of grace under the apostleship of the Apostle Paul that we are saved by believing that Jesus Christ died for our sins, was buried, and on the third day rose again. Those who do so are not only saved, but they are secured and they are made part of the body of Christ, which is the church. The body of Christ, which is the church, includes both Jews and Gentiles. It includes all the believers in this dispensation of grace. That includes you and me. We pray that you would also see that even though Paul's epistles are written 2,000 years ago, we have come to the point that we should understand that the entirety of scriptures is given for us, but the Pauline epistles are given to us. Let me read you Romans 15 verse 4. And it says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the Scriptures, might have hope. All Scripture is given for us, but the Pauline epistles, that is, from Romans to Philemon, these are given to us. The rest of the scriptures from Genesis to Mid-Acts, the Hebrew epistles to Revelation, they are given for our learning. Now, since these epistles of the Apostle Paul are given to us, it really needs that we pay attention to them. So let us see our passage this day and read from verse 1 that says, I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called. What is the vocation wherewith we are called? Now, this is the salvation by the grace of God through the faith of Jesus Christ that we who believe are made part of the body of Christ, the church. Now, being part of the body of Christ, saved by the grace of God, and through the faith of Jesus Christ, the Apostle Paul instructs us in verse 2 that reads, With all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. We are to show one another as part of the body of Christ the following. Number one, lowliness. This is the humble acknowledgement that we were all sinners saved by grace like the rest of the other believers. Meekness, number two, is the attitude that follows lowliness. Number three is long-suffering because it is not easy nor trouble-free to relate to other believers. And number four is forbearance, forbearing one another in love. That is, not to demand our rights, but in love, not holding the offenses against us to them. What's the point of all this? Verse 3 reads this. The Apostle Paul writes, Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Since we are one body in Christ, by believing the gospel that Jesus Christ was delivered for our offenses and raised again for our justification, we are baptized by the Spirit into the body of Christ. Because of that, we have one bond in the body of Christ. We therefore should endeavor to live in unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. I pray that this teaching would be a blessing to you as you study it and discuss it with your family. Thank you very much for listening. 
do have a nice day and the Lord bless you.